this is an elephant and these are some birds and these are some horses and in today's lesson you're going to find out how all these animals and more are used in English idioms, expressions and phrases that will really help you sound more fluent when you speak in English. Hi, my name's Steve. Let's do this. Let's start with the phrasal verb chicken out. <laughs> to say this naturally, move the N, the N sound from the end of chicken to the front of out. So it becomes chicken nout. Chicken nout. Then say it in one breath. Chicken nout. You try. Chicken out. And this means to not do something because you're scared. Like this. This costs a lot of money, so don't chicken out. I won't. If you say something is the lion's share, it means it's the biggest part of something. For example, the owner of a business usually gets the lion's share of the profits. I couldn't eat another thing. That's because you had the lion's share of the cake. This little guy is called a beaver and he's used in the English expression eager beaver. To say this naturally, change the two ERs to the schwa sound. That's that little uh sound. So it's not eager beaver, it's eager beaver. Eager beaver. You try it. If someone is called an eager beaver, it means they're really keen and enthusiastic. Sometimes they're too keen and enthusiastic. When I started working here, I was a real eager beaver. Now, I just do what I have to do. Next is hold your horses. But to say this in fast English, we're going to change the your to the j sound. So instead of hold your horses, it becomes hold your horses. Hold your horses. You try. This expression is said, when you want someone to wait and be patient. Hurry up, we're going to be late. Hold your horses and being as fast as I can. The phrase to let the cat out of the bag means to tell someone a secret, something they really shouldn't tell someone else. Like this. Who let the cat out of the bag that it's my birthday? We can use the expression a little bird told me to answer who let the cat out of the bag because it means someone who you're not going to name has told you a secret. Use it like this. A little bird told me you're having a sale next week. Next we have the English expression to make a beeline and this means to go straight and quickly towards something. Remember in English the A ah is almost always pronounced as a schwa sound, the little a uh sound. And once we've made it a schwa sound, we can join it with the end of make. So it's not make a beeline, it's make a beeline. To make a beeline, you try. If you want to find out more about this natural sounding, joined up, linked English, check out this video on the channel. It will really help you. We used to make a beeline like this. When we go on holiday, we always make a beeline for the beach. If someone tells you that they smell a rat, it means they suspect that someone is trying to fool them or trick them. Use it like this. Should we let them on board, Captain? No, I smell a rat. Have you ever tried to speak and the words just won't come out? Because your throat is dry, maybe sore, you feel like you need to cough, <coughs> excuse me, then you can use this English expression to have a frog in your throat. <coughs> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. <coughs> throat> 
To get someone's goat means to make them irritated or angry. We all have things that get our goat. You know what really gets my goat? Bad drivers. Don't get my goat, click the like button. Now when an English person tells you to get your ducks in a row, it means you should get everything ready and prepared before you do something. For example, before you go to an airport, you should pack your suitcase, get your tickets, all your paperwork that you need before you go to the airport. Get all your ducks in a row. This is an important meeting we're going to. We should make sure we've got all our ducks in a row before we arrive. The next expression uses our old friend, the elephant. And to say it naturally, join the T, the T sound from the end of elephant, to the front of the in. So it becomes elephant tin. Say it in one breath, elephant tin. The whole thing, the elephant in the room. You try, the elephant in the room. This expression is used when there's a big problem or subject, that's the elephant, but no one wants to talk about it, maybe because they're too embarrassed or they just don't want to bring it up in conversation. And so everyone just tries to ignore it. I love this house. We should buy it. I love it as well. But we need to talk about the elephant in the room. We've got three children. And this has only got two bedrooms. If you're like a fish out of water, it means you're uncomfortable doing something. Maybe you've been put into a situation that makes you feel uncomfortable. To say this like a native English speaker, join the sh sound from the end of fish to the front of out. So it becomes fish out. Fish out of water. You try. The first time you visit England, you might feel like a fish out of water for the first few days. A wild goose chase is a fun expression. It means to do something that's a complete waste of time. Usually it involves travelling. For example, if you came to my home city of Liverpool to see Big Ben, that would be a wild goose chase because it's in London. In two shakes of a lamb's tail means something will be done really quickly. I'm explaining what the expression in two shakes of a lamb's tail means. In two shakes of a lamb's tail. Sometimes pet parrots can be taught to speak. Ah! But they don't really understand what they're saying. They're just making the same sounds that they've heard. And this is where the expression to learn something para-fashion comes from. You're taught something, but you don't really understand it. You just repeat it without thinking. That's why on this channel, we always give real life examples of how words and phrases are used. To not give a monkeys is an informal way of saying that you just don't care. Now you might not give a monkeys that the A in this expression is changed into a schwa sound. But you should give a monkeys because it's important to sound natural. Not give a monkeys. Not give a monkeys. You try. I don't give a monkeys if you don't like my shirt because I love it. These lines at the side of your eye that appear as you get older and when you smile are called crow's feet. I don't have crow's feet. They're laughter lines. Laughter lines. Steve, nothing's that funny. The next English idiom is the world's your oyster. And to say this naturally, move the R from the end of your to the front of oyster. This makes the R stronger. So pronounce it by pushing your lips forward. Royster. Royster. You try. Now say it in one breath, your oyster. The world's your oyster. 
If you need more help in pronouncing the R sound in English, check out this video on the site. It'll really help you. This means you can do anything you want because of certain things you have. It might be your age. When you leave school, the world is your oyster. It might be money. His dad's rich, so the world is his oyster. If you improve your English, the world is your oyster. So click on this link. I'll see you next time.